system we've got to be attached to a safe point just in case we do fall so what we do we have a double attachment so we attach the double attachment that's attached to the cage unclip our personal one go over to an anti pump at the shaft side clip on there that enables us to release the anchor point on the cage we clipped on and attached to an anchor point at all times, enabling us to exit the cage into the inset safely. Once in the cage, the inset safely, we can detach from this point and go further in to do the job. We anchor with the cage anchor points, which enables us to take a personal one off the inset. Once that's done, we reattach this personal one onto the anchor point in the cage, allowing us to take the double locker back off. I'll now offer this up to Pete when he's coming. You've got ropes? Yep. Right, come on then. Clear. Now, I'm going to take emergency stuff off. Let us, let us know when you're powered up, and I'll signal you down to the uh, standpipe. Okay. What we're doing now, we're going to the last leg in running out of this water drainage system in the shaft. So as I said previously, this is the last leg in the uh, flow point of that inset wastewater down to the ring dam area. This has to be proven so it doesn't block up with debris and uh, ochre. So it goes freely into a ring dam and then freely down the shaft pipes into the pit bottom. This is a horizontal uh, flow path from the bottom of that inset that we've just rotted out. And if we didn't rod this out, there's a potential for it to block up and stop the flow of water to the next spring dam. 
As you can see, you're getting little bits of debris, but we do it weekly. If we if we extended that period, you would see more and more debris building up. So we've determined this process is a weekly event to stop the build-up of larger particles. Last but not least, there's a double 90 that we have to rod out with a wire. That's got to go 90 degrees around the first bend and then 90 degrees around the second bend. As you consider that job done, we, we observe the clean water flowing, so that gives us a field growth factor. There's, there's no restriction from the inset above what we just rotted out to where it eventually gets into the ring dam there and then safely down the down pipes to the pit bottom where the pit bottom pump will safely take it to a better place. Hello Phil. Hello. We're finished here now, fellow. I'm going to take the emergency stop out. Let me know when power's back on and then we'll sing when you to surface. The cage has been securely fastened back with a lock and a bolt so it doesn't inadvertently spring open when we don't want it to be. The back gate's secured now and the top clip's been installed for the additional drop down of the top gate. Right, good to go. This is a procedure we do every week, as I've said, but if we find anything good or bad while we're doing the procedure, we'll alter the plan, either to extend it or to reduce it and do it more than once a week.